Well, I'm founder and CEO of uh, Smarter Than Crypto, which is a token as a portfolio. Mm. It's an active ETF. Mm. Um, I myself, uh, I'm also CEO, CIO of Salos Alpha Capital, which is a regulated investment manager out of Europe. Mm. And, and we have a 15 year track record in the, in a hedge fund strategy called Managed Futures. Um, so we are quantitative asset manager, basically. I'm also sitting on a couple of, bo- of regu- on the board of a couple of regulated financial institutions. Mm-hmm. I've been a banker all my life. I'm trading uh, derivatives in 30 years. I'm also the president of the Alternative Investment Fund Association mm-hmm. in Austria. Uh, I have uh, done successful lobbying in, in Europe for uh, the opening up of the mutual fund law. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of things I have done in the last 30 years. Yeah. And um, since being a quantitative manager, we have this model basically, which is called smarter than beta, which mm-hmm. can outperform any index, any asset class, 40% more return, 40% less risk. And we're actually trying to disrupt in the traditional space, the ETF space, and we did bring this model to the crypto space. And this is why actually the project is called Smarter Than Crypto. The token, here is the legal view and the economic view. There's two views, right? So economically, it operates like a, like a, like a fund if you want so, right? But technically and legally, it's a commingled managed account. So mm-hmm. there is, there's a difference legally to view, right? So yeah. technically, economically, it operates like a portfolio. Mm-hmm. Basically, the, the investor buys a token, yeah. and the smarter than crypto token. Yeah. And we then manage with the receiver. We accept PTC, LTC, and E. Mm-hmm. So once we have received the contribution, we then uh, manage the portfolio. And the portfolio is actively managed, focusing on the top 20 market cap coins, mm-hmm. investing actively in the top 20 market cap coins. So there is some appreciation going on through the management, obviously, of the portfolio. Mm-hmm. And um, the investor receives an appreciation of the, of the portfolio, the NAV, the asset, asset value, if you want, so etc. It goes up because of uh, the successful uh, management of the, of the portfolio. Technically, uh, legally, it's mm-hmm. a commingled managed account. So it's not a fund structure and it's not a platform. The Greeks crypto index, you can look it up, or you can Google it actually. It's, a, it's an index that is independent, that is uh, computed by a university in Berlin, in Germany, in Berlin, and in cooperation with the university in Singapore, also David Lee is involved in that index. Mm-hmm. Um, and that index comprises 75 coins slash tokens, I would say, mm-hmm. um, and is market capitalization weighted. We use it as a benchmark for, mm-hmm. the, for the strategy because we need a benchmark uh, to measure uh, against and yeah. we use this one because it's independent and it's, it's, uh, it's available. You can go to the website, you can see, see the rule book, you can see the constituents, you can see basically everything. Okay. Excellent question. Thank you. Um, let me go back to the original statement I made. It's this 15 year old quantitative mm-hmm. model we have that is focusing entirely on portfolio construction. Mm. Okay. So what does that mean? It selects from an index. And by the way, I just have been in in Korea, as you know, and we missed each other there at the Mm. T10E. Yeah. And I also had a, I also had a meeting with uh, Samsung futures slash Samsung live for the traditional space, which is the smarter than beta. And Uh. I presented there actually uh, the smarter than beta on the Cosby. Right, because the smarter than beta model yeah. works on any works on any index, and because it's focusing each index, one step back, each index is, or most of the indexes are, are constructed using market capitalization, as is the Greeks crypto index in the crypto space. Mm-hmm. But market capitalization has nothing to do with 
portfolio construction. And our model is focusing entirely on portfolio construction. So what, what, what the model basically does in a nutshell and easily, mm -hmm. it fixes the drawdown, it fixes the losses basically and maximizes returns. Mm -hmm. So because it's, because it's doing that, yeah. it's able to, to uh, it will hide basically in risk-free assets. So in crypto, this is USTT, Tether, okay? Mm -hmm. It is hiding in risk-free assets when the market tanks, when the market goes down. So since December 23rd, going back to crypto, yeah. the model is around 75% in Tether because it thinks the market will fall. And actually, it is right. As of today, you can go to CoinMarketCap, you see uh, uh, Bitcoin is something like 8,000, right? And mm -hmm. I think there's more room to go down. But the model really found that out because of portfolio construction. So again, what does that mean? If you construct a portfolio, mm -hmm. you need to consider correlations. You need to consider how these coins behave to each other. And yeah. this is how the model can find out that it's not a good environment. It's, it's very difficult to invest. So yeah. basically the risk is taken off the books and the position is scaled down and more into risk-free assets like USTD, Tether is allocated. So here is this, Less risk, right? It's 40% less risk. Mm -hmm. But I think you also asked, why 40% more return? Yeah. The 40% return is the other side of, the, of, of, of this equation, basically. If you scale down in, in a drawdown, you reduce risk. That's fine, right? Mm -hmm. But in, a, in, a, in an upward market, if you select the proper, again, focusing on portfolio construction, if you select the proper guys to be in the portfolio, right, and avoid the losers because, again, of correlation you consider, then you can make 40% more return. And by the way, as I pointed out before, it works on the COSPI, it works on the S&P 500, it works on the Russell 2000, on any index, basically, mm -hmm. and also on the Greek crypto index, which is the benchmark. Very good question. It mm. goes up 45%. This is stock B, okay? Yeah. Or crypto A, crypto B, okay? Okay. So, all right. So if you tell the model, yes. if you tell the model, I want no risk and no return, mm. right? So let's say you, you want this as your final result, a straight line, no risk, no return. Yes. Right? I think it's obvious what the model will do and what you would do, right? You would take 50% of this crypto mm -hmm. and 50% of this crypto, right? Okay. Basically giving, giving you this line, mm -hmm. no risk, no risk, no return, nothing, just a straight line, right? Yeah. This is exactly how the model works, basically. Mm -hmm. Be because you told it no risk, yeah. it gave you the solution is 50-50. Mm -hmm. So... So now you tell the model, first of all, first of all, you think scaling this up, not to two components, but let's say to 20, right? Like a top 20 market cap coins, yeah. for example, right? It will give you the perfect solution for this problem, but not just with two, but with 20 coins, right? Mm -hmm. And now you then say, okay, but to get a return, I need to accept some risk. So this is exactly, you cannot have a straight line, no risk. It doesn't make sense, right? Mm -hmm. So basically, you, you tell it, give me a fixed loss, yes. right? An, expe an expected loss, mm -hmm. and give me whatever is possible, the maximum return. So this is exactly what's happening, right? So just figure this model here mm -hmm. and scale it up to 20 coins and introduce some loss you are, you're willing to accept and some return you want to have, the, the maximum return. This is how the portfolio construction works. Uh. And here... And here it did figure that one out because this, these two guys are perfectly negative correlated, right? This is why it said 50-50. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Yeah. So it focuses entirely on how these assets behave yeah. together, mm -hmm. right? And what your risk target is. And then it gives mm -hmm. you the maximum return, basically. It's as simple as that. But I think the picture did make it more easier to follow. As you said, 15 years in the financial markets, basically in Salazar for 30 years in, in derivatives trading, 
Um, so there's a lot of, of things I've taught in my past. Yeah. Two years, two years ago, basically, um, I did an analysis. Okay, how can we, first of all, crypto is a new asset class, right? That's undoubtable. It's the world changed and the world is changing going forward. So crypto yeah. is a new asset class. Yeah. Um, many, many, many institutional investment ma invest investors are looking to get exposure to the crypto space. So mm -hmm. we were exploring two years ago how we could facilitate um, basically our institutional expert management expertise, uh, bringing it into, into the crypto space. Mm -hmm. And at that time, obviously, it was more difficult than, than it's nowadays because... Um, software was not available, the exchanges were less, liquidity were less, and so on and so forth. Yes. And lucky, lucky for us, uh, when we started uh, two years ago, looking at the space, um, our model is so general that it can handle the crypto space because typically you have a problem that you have, the data is not enough in regards, mm. to, in, in regards to length, but uh, our model does only need 90 days for portfolio construction. So that wow. was never a problem for us. Mm -hmm. And, and, and this is really the situation we found us, ourselves in. So we started to trade the portfolio. Mm. Um, we, we developed all the, by the way, we are quantitative manager, as I said, and our box, I call it a box, is fully automated from price input till trading towards the exchanges, mm. till reconciliation of the trade, till reporting. That's what we do in the, in the traditional space. And the yeah. same actually we do in the crypto space. Everything is fully automated. Okay. So we needed obviously upgrade our system. So it took some time and, uh, and here we go basically. So we started two years ago and now we have a product. We, have, we are in pre-ICO yeah. uh, currently. There's a 10% discount and uh, hopefully till mid-May everything is done. Yep. And, uh, and uh, the Smarter Than Crypto token will be live, yeah. Well, the biggest compared to, to coming from the traditional hedge fund space or traditional asset management space, um, the biggest difference in the crypto space is custody, right? So basically custody. every custody. Okay. Typically you have a bank that holds the asset, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, it's the custodian, it's called the custodian. Mm -hmm. But now everybody holds, the, you hold your own assets in your own wallet, right? So mm -hmm. it's... Yeah. You are your own bank. This is the crypto space. Mm -hmm. So there is differences, I would say, from the behavior of the asset class, but there's also differences in the handling of the asset class, right? Mm -hmm. I think the institutional asset managers, the biggest problem is handling the asset class, yeah. right? It's different, like trading is different 24-7. Um, you, you immediately get a confirmation. Mm -hmm. The custody is different and so on and so forth. From the behavior of the assets, I think it's very interesting for me to see because when I started, I got, um, why did I actually start in the financial industry? I was, look, I was watching the movie in 1987, Wall Street, actually, right? And, ah, okay. And there was this, there was this statement from um, Gordon Gekko to mm -hmm. Bud Fox saying, tell the man, I don't know if you can look it up, Blue Horseshoe loves Anna Castile, basically. He gave him the, the inside information. Blue Horseshoe loves Anna Castile. And he says that, he says then, congratulations, buddy. You scored. Start buying Anna Castile across the board and use the offshore account and be quiet, right? That was basically the start of my career. It was amazing. And okay. all this, what we have seen in the 87 is now some kind of back in the crypto space. This is mm. my analogy to it, right? Yeah. Because... In high frequency trading is suddenly back with the crypto space, right? Mm -hmm. All the technical indicators like moving averages and stuff like that is back in the crypto space. But my view on that one is I stopped using technical indicators in the 90s because they stopped working, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So that the crypto space will also see that. They will, yeah. it, they will stop working at the end of the day. Of course, as long as you have a strong upward bias, your moving average will make money. Mm -hmm. But when it goes down and when, it, when there's a consolidation, then basically there is a, you're getting, the technical term is you're getting whipsawed. You, you, you're losing basically because you're in, out, you have false signals. Okay. And, 
And that was my, my view in the traditional side, as mm-hmm. well as for any other asset class, it portfolio construction is the only thing that matters, right? Because oh. you need to, you need to, it's not just one asset goes up or down, but mm-hmm. this is okay, but you don't know how much to buy from that one asset, right? Mm-hmm. And how much to buy from that one asset compared to other assets. So coming to that point, there is nothing different compared to the additional space mm-hmm. focusing on that mechanics on portfolio construction it's the same mm-hmm. right because assets have correlation to each other yes and the only assumption we take and this is why we are in the top 20 market cap coins actively mm-hmm. that this one has a lot of information the price has information right yeah. if you go down in the and that's why i, I quoted the the wall street blue horseshoe loves and I could steal. If you go down in, 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 in down to, I don't know, top 100 or small, small coins, right? Small cap coins, you want, however you want to call them, then obviously information matters, right? You could not trade them quantitatively because there is, there is some news flow that, that matters. And uh, so from portfolio construction, it's the same. The, the techniques that are implemented by investors, like technical indicators, are the same but I'm a critic of that one. It will stop working very soon from my perspective. So for us and our model, we don't see so much, uh, we don't see a lot of differences to be honest. For us, okay. it's the same. It's just the handling is different. Behavior. 24 seven is different. The behavior is a little bit different because you haven't built in upward bias because you have a high supply. Oh. Uh, you have a, sorry, you have a limited supply. Mm. You have a limited supply. Uh, and a high demand, so that's different, right? So mm. this is what is different. From my perspective, I have a discretionary view and I have a model view, right? Mm. So obviously we had a huge run up mm. and it must be supported by network growth. That is my view. It must be supported by by mass adoption, by network growth, basically. So we are lagging a little bit behind. We also have constant news flow about regulation, right? Yeah. Korea, China, the rest of the world, everything mm-hmm. is, uh, new guys in Korea are, are core contributors in regards to news to the, to the asset class, right? So what yeah. goes on in Korea matters. Um, so my view is we have to digest some news flow going forward regulation especially on the exchanges will be strengthened mm-hmm. because they are the gateway to fiat so there is some probably negative news flow the model is also conservative right now basically as i said since december 23rd investing 75 percent in tether mm-hmm. but but my take here is why should an investor buy smarter than crypto i think it's exactly the point in time where right now he should swap his BTC holdings or e- LTC or ETH holdings to smarter than crypto. Why? Because first of all, for us, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter what the end we will, because we have a continuing contribution, mm. the portfolio average entry price in a falling market gets lowered. So basically we average in into the portfolio. So once we implement the full portfolio, the investors protect it from the downside because it's actively managed. So it's, it's a perfect way uh, to basically swap to smarter than crypto uh, from the current holdings he has or part of the holdings and diversify away from directional risk basically in the, in the crypto space, right? Okay. So I am bearish, I mm-hmm. am bearish, but I think yeah. the solution is, is smarter than crypto for that problem, to be honest, because mm-hmm. here, here the investor really has... Um, the best of both worlds, if you want. So he has active managed management. He has the 15-year-old model impli- applied to the crypto space. And when the market turns again, he doesn't he doesn't lose out and on the upside, and he doesn't lose so much on the downside. So mm. I think it's a great offering, actually, for the current time being. Very good question, but I would not be concerned about Europe because Europe is so many uh-huh. member countries in the uh-huh. European Union, so they will, they will never come to one conclusion. So uh-huh. forget about it. I think that the story will be developed in, in Asia. It will be developed with, 
yeah, I think it will be developed in Asia. Mm. In Europe, for the time being, it is basically they will focus on the exchanges and they will focus on the um, they will focus on the exchanges and they will focus on fiat conversion to crypto. That's it for now, for the time mm. being. Um, but what really happens in Asia is, I think, key to the success of the of the future of the crypto space, right? Yeah. And and securities regulation might come in, might be stronger feud. Our solution is, from our perspective, it's 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 perfect for the current environment and for the for the for the for the future environment. Because um, uh, the company is located in the British Virgin Island, it's a commingling yeah. managed account. We only accept crypto to crypto. Um, it's a portfolio of, of coins basically actively managed. So besides US investors, we're doing fine on a global scale basically. Mm. Even if there is, even if there is um, more pressure coming from the regulatory side, since we already are li we are a licensed manager, for us it's easy to upgrade. So mm. there is nothing we would need to change. It's we are in the space, so we would know we would know what to do, and we could basically compare to other projects which would need to apply for a license. And the license typically takes one and a half to two years. To be honest, the mm. crypto space is some kind of neglecting that. We already have the license, so there is no problem with us. But I think again, cut it short. Mm -hmm. uh, the crypto space future will be determined in Asia from our perspective. I can, I can refer you to, to the past, what it did, right? Mm -hmm. So um, let, me, let me see that number here if I, if I want to read it correctly. Um, Sorry, let me, yeah, here's, no, it's actually the wrong one. Anyway, you can see it uh, on, the, <laughs> yeah, everything needs to go in, in need, everything needs to go in real time here, right? Yeah. Um, uh, here I have it. 2014, we did 1.35x for the full year. 2015 mm -hmm. was a little bit negative with 0.14x. 2016, 5.8x. And 2017, we made a killing with 44x, right? Wow. So that's huge. Yeah. So my my view is if if goes to eighteen hundred, we probably make three to five x, mm -hmm. and and probably there is um, um, one to two x to do exchange listing possible. The good thing here is you can always sell against the smart contract, right? So there's always liquidity because mm -hmm. and there's no ICO risk because there's always an underlying portfolio of coins. So you can sell against the smart contract. Mm -hmm. Basically, we always guarantee you liquidity, mm -hmm. or you sell on exchanges once once the smarter than crypto token is exchange listed. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice, actually, and there is no ICO risk because uh, again, there is always a portfolio of the top twenty up to the top twenty market cap coins. Mm -hmm. So everything should actually be very favorable for the investor. So it's protected on the downside. Mm -hmm. And if Eve goes up to eighteen hundred, we probably make three to five X. That's my my view on the on the current view. Obviously, subject to being updated, but that's the current view. Excellent. Um, currently, it's pre-sale. There's a ten percent discount. Yeah. So basically, you go on the web page, you register your email address. Mm -hmm. uh, then you log in, you change your password, you, you then fill out KYC, mm -hmm. uh, and then you invest. You can contribute BTC, LTC, and ETH. Mm -hmm. um, that is what we take in. Um, you then receive your smarter than crypto tokens. Uh, after that, after the pre-sale, we have a two-week pause, and then the main sale comes in. The price will go up until 95. Currently, it's 90 cents for one dollar for one STC token. Then it will be one dollar. Uh, sorry, 95 cents, then one dollar, and then one zero five. Mm -hmm. um, so price will go up. Yeah. And um, in the, small, uh, the the soft cap is two million dollars, two million yeah. coins, two million dollars. Uh, the hard cap is is a hundred hundred million dollars. Um, uh, Pre-sale total tokens is around ten millions. So mm -hmm. this is where we are currently heading. We are currently around uh, close to two million. So 
uh, that's what we already raised and uh, we have a couple of institutional investors coming in at the pre-sale so we are confident that uh, that we will reach our target i think uh, um, that you can look it up on the website the exact yeah. timetable but i think the ico goes till till the 13th of may mm -hmm. i think it's better to come in at the pre-sale for the 10 percent discount and we did write a medium article that even if the market is falling and you contribute, you, you profit from averaging into it. So basically you get a better average price because the yeah. portfolio gets a better average price. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make sense actually to hold back your investment because again, you average into the smarter than crypto token. So it works for you. Okay. Uh, I'm opening your website right now. If I'm correct, your pre-sale stages from 22nd of January until 31st of March. Is that correct? And your main token ICO is starting from 16 April till 13 of May. Perfect. Yes, yeah. that is correct. <laughs> <laughs>We have the white paper in Korean. Wow. The web the website is in Korean now, mm -hmm. uh, especially the one that is uh, outside the logged in area. Mm -hmm. When you log in, that one will be, I think next week will be in Korean. Fantastic. So uh, I think that should really help your audience basically to understand awesome. what's going on. You see that uh, Smarter Than Crypto made since 2014, 38,000% with a max loss of 36%. Wow. The, well, the crypto space lost something like 70, no, the Greek crypto index actually, I should say, lost 70%. So risks are controlled with our offering yes. and the upside stays. So I think it's a really great offering. With one token, basically, you have the entire portfolio. It's very easy. You just need one wallet um, and everything is fine. We have a, a nice picture. Let me show you this from, okay. from the, I give it to Piccoli what we saw for investors, right? So basically you see here, uh -huh. you see here a, a Ledger Nano, uh -huh. a Trezor, and yeah. some Aspirin. They are frequently bought together at Amazon. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, a it's a joke, right? A Ledger <laughs> Nano, a Ledger Nano, a Trezor, and Aspirin. They're frequently bought together at, at yeah. Amazon. And, and yeah. this is exactly what we saw for the investor, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So yeah. this is what we solve. He gets, he gets basically a managed portfolio mm -hmm. and, and no headaches and one wallet and he's good to go and he has exposure to the crypto space. It's very easy. It's good diversification for every, for every crypto enthusiast, to be honest. Because okay. very soon he will realize that the, the intraday trading is, is a lot of stress and hardly works, especially in the down market and so on and so forth. So I think here is the offer. And I think we, we covered it basically, right? Get, log into the website. Yeah. Um, you, you see the current portfolio. So yeah. what you can always focus is basically when you see a lot of tether exposure, mm -hmm. you, know, you know that the model is, is conservative. So mm -hmm. you can basically, you can use the portfolio and you can basically communicate it and uh, you can distribute it and you can make people aware and guide them also how, a portfolio could look like basically and in regards to risk as well. Right? Mm.